dealing with debt collectors and their cunning tactics on the top of every screen, just to remind you what we're talking about, just in case I, I put you to sleep. I hope not to do that, but uh, let's jump right into it. So first of all, I want y'all, first of all, I want y'all to pretty much clear your mind of what you think you know or heard you know, and I want you to really, really focus because everything I tell you, every line is going to be super important. It's going to, it can change your, your personal life with respect to your own credit. It can change the way you practice in your credit repair firm. Um, if you don't have a firm in your own credit repair journey. So I want you to really pay close attention. Some of these things I'm talking about are going to be real basic as far as words. Like, for example, we're going to start about talking about what is, what is a debt collector? You think you know what a debt collector is, but it, hey, it's Brian. very important. Hey, Brian? Yes. They're saying that you're kind of low. Oh, okay. All right. It's pretty low. How about now? Yeah, I think maybe you can move your mic closer to your mouth. Okay. Let's see. Thank you. How about now? Yeah, I can take there it. you go. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's the difference? Yeah, I, I know it's right in your mouth, but yeah, it's good, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. If you hear some... If you hear a mustache touching it, let me know. I can take it off and the computer will pick up just fine. But how is this for sure? Yeah, that's good. You're good. Okay, thanks. And I was just saying, y'all, whatever you think, you know, just sort of free your mind. Some of this stuff, if it seems like a review, I promise it's not. Some of this stuff you're really going to have to hone in on. And so it, it's basic, but it's necessary. What is a debt collector? Well, a debt collector is a person who collects debts, alleged other person or company all right and again that's a, that's a one-liner but a person can be individual can be a company uh i say collects debt but it also includes attempting to collect the debt okay uh allegedly due to another uh allegedly means they're claiming it's due so even if it's not due then um that includes debt collection and to another means another person. So they're not collecting it for themselves. Uh, the law, if you want to, you know, do Google, you Google 15 USC 1692 A6. That's the definition um, where you can find a definition listed. And the definition, of course, is a little longer. All right. So who is not a debt collector? It's also important to know who is excluded from being a debt collector. Well, the original creditor is not a debt collector. So if you get a Capital One Visa card, Capital One is an original creditor. They offered, they gave you the credit. They are not a debt collector, even though it may say collection on your credit report, or they say, hey, we're going to, you know, send you to collections, their collections department. Well, they're the original creditor. They are not a debt collector. It's important to understand who's not a debt collector. An employee of the creditor, you know, that could be an employee or agent or officer of the creditor. They're not debt collectors because they're working for that debt collector. Also, employee of the United States or any state, those are not debt collectors. So when the, uh, you know, the tax people, the Department of Revenue, you know, those are not debt collectors. All right. Also, the what the um, what the, the different port authorities or whatever that do the tolls, those are not debt collectors. Legal process servers, those are not debt collectors. That, a process server is the person that brings you a lawsuit. That's a process server. And by the way, process, just so you understand every word you're seeing, process is like, is the summons and complaint. Those are the papers that start a lawsuit. That's process. So a legal process server is a person who hands that over to you. Nonprofit organization performing credit counseling, they are not debt collectors, okay? and uh, a person who began collection prior to default. This comes up usually in mortgage servicing because you know you get a mortgage with Bank of America, then the next thing you know you have Aquin or I know they're not doing much, but uh, you know PHH collecting on it. Your client comes to you with some late payments with them. You wanna treat them like a debt collector. You have to understand that it depends on whether or not that loan servicer started servicing that loan before it went into default and default, of course, mispayment or after. If, if the person starts collecting the debt after, uh, before it went into default, like a loan servicer, 
they're excluded as a debt collector. 